Hello, everyone. My name is Stephen Pope, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, an anime-inspired role-playing game show powered by Overarms, available now at drivethroughrpg.com. We have a great episode in, my, in mind for you this week, and let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with the only person who owns a Death Note, and the only person I trust with that, Mika. Oh my gosh. This is the best one yet. I've always wanted to own a Death Note. Hi, yes. everyone. I'm Mika. I play the lovable theater kid who's a little too naive and uh, ready for love, Dolly Wingrove, <laughs> whose divinity is Persephone. Um, yeah. Very nice. Next up, uh, they ha have a quirk that will destroy this country one day, Eric. I mean, I think I. I mean, I think my people are already destroying this country and have been since the beginning. Hi, everyone. My, hey, white guys. Yeah. yeah. My name's Eric, and I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, the the ex uh, captain of the football team, quarterback, and uh, and uh, carrying the the divine Sumerian goddess Ninkasi. Very nice. Next up, they have the spirit of Boogie Pop within them, Aki. Which I knew that reference. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. I am playing Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny. They are, uh, yeah, they're they're not the sharpest tool in the shed, but they are an incredibly encouraging and supportive friend uh, whose uh, divinity is the goddess Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. We love it. And last but certainly not least, this isn't even their final form, CB. That's actually very true. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bar, the Critical Bar across all social media channels. Uh, and I play Kawame Akinyemi, uh, a really cool uh, silver-tongued uh, hunk of a man. Uh, boy, not man. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yes, and his divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god and king of stories. <clears throat> I love it. All right. Uh, before we get into our game, we do have a few things. First out, a big shout out to our sponsors over at Die Hard Dice, where you can save 10% off your order using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. Use command exclamation point DH Dice, that's D H D I C E, in chat for links and info. The code only works till the end of this month, so until the end of March. So hop to it. Uh, you can also go ahead and get Critical Bard's Dice Set. So, like, Two birds, one stone. Do it. Why aren't you doing I was looking it? for the dice, and then, then I didn't have them in time. That's fine. <laughs> Don't let me. I'll show them. Yes. But even with Die Hard's Dice's uh, help, and we do appreciate that help, we are mostly, we're mostly powered by you guys. This wonderful viewing audience we have. We love you. We appreciate you. And we want you to have the best experience possible. So you're... Your tips help us help you, so it's simpatico. Uh, for fifteen dollars or fifteen hundred bits in chat, or for five gifted subs, you can submit a kind and clean message, and we will read it live. So that's a great way to do it. And also, we're trying something new this episode. For twenty dollars, you can have me draw from the deck of heroes, help the players out of a jam, or make that jam so much stickier. Your support keeps this channel operating and the cast paid, and thank you for it if you bother to do it. We really appreciate it. Um, and one more thing to the people who are watching this later. Hi. Uh, if you're listening to this as a podcast or watching this on YouTube, thank you. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, rate, tell your friends, tell your grandmother. Just download a podcast onto a phone and throw it at her. She'll appreciate it. So they won't have to figure out. Go how into your school, that. your high school's computer lab and log all the computers into <laughs> twitch.television. Yes. But we love hearing from you and thank you for listening. Even if you're not doing it live, if I'm not mistaken, that is everything I need to get out of the way because we have a very big episode ahead of us. Last week, the four of you fought another crow, this time in the middle of the school library. And Kwame did not We don't not talk about it. Time. We don't talk about it. It didn't happen. We don't talk about it. I already rewrote history. It didn't happen. Okay, okay. I'm so asking it's a big episode? That with clowns. So are we, are, is it prom? Are we doing not prom? prom yet. Not prom yet. That would be big for me. That would be big. 
that, that would be big. <laughs> that would be very big. But yes, uh, as after the four of you had your big fight, you were reunited with Kim Winters, the living dead girl who has the divinity of the Morrigan, who you once knew as the Phantom Queen, the big bad of the series. Um, thanks to her desire to skip class, Manny's ability to enable anyone's bad behavior, and the fact that Manny currently holds two crowns that seem to have some sort of weird divin divine energy to them, the four of you skipped class and went back to Manny's room, where you were reunited with Loki, still a bunny, still not loving it, and unable to tell you why he's a bunny. He revealed that Orpheus, Dahlia's beloved companion throughout the first series, was a crow, allegedly. And also, the Phantom Queen, the Morrigan, still remembers what went down when she was in a different state. And that's where we kick off, with the four of you inside Manny's dorm room. The Morrigan has taken form. She is a woman made entirely of feathers and void. And Kim just gets in front of her in between you guys. No. Okay? No. You're not putting her through this. Uh, not to be that person, but I do not think there is a um, any other way to get the, the clear information that we need. And I'm not trying to get horse kicked again. So, you, you got a horse kick? Never mind. No, you're not putting her through this, okay? I mean, I, she she did say she would tell us, like, we're not going to force her if she doesn't want to, but she has information that could help all of us. Yeah, I mean, it could be just like Loki said. Sometimes you have to get through the bad to get to the good. Loki, uh, who's holding Loki, by the way? Um, I think I think uh, I was, or yeah. Lenny. One of the two of us, I believe, was holding on to him. Uh, Loki kind of crosses his arms like, yes, I did say that. I am quite wise. Kim glowers and looks over her shoulder to her divinity. Uh, the Morrigan just gives her a nod, and Kim backs away, puts her back to the corner and crosses her arms. You can tell she's very uncomfortable with this situation right now. Kwame jots that in his head. Kwame will remember this. <sighs> the Morgan stands up. Her feathers bristle for a moment and then become sleek and shiny like an oil spill. She is truly beautiful and horrifying, much like you expect any goddess of death to be. When I was in a dark space, when I was alone, after Kim died, and after my husband vanished, I sought the door of oblivion. For some reason, this school seems to be the nexus where God, Earth, and that door all seem to combine, and I sought it. The longer I looked for it, the more I became obsessed. Eventually, I stopped being me because I had to find it, and then I found it, and I found out what it could do. The doors to oblivion aren't just doors for divine beings. It's not just doors for granting a wish. Their death itself. Anything that goes away goes through that door. It goes, the human soul goes through it and then it goes further on and divinity does not. That's all I was able to learn. So 
How are things coming out of the door, if that's what we're assuming is happening? I believe the door needs an avatar. The door needs someone to do its work. I believe that in my quest to be reunited with Kim and see my husband again, I was the avatar, but now it's found a new one to replace me. And that replacement is another divinity. It or someone would have been at a divinity least once, yes. With power. Okay. This so still does not go ahead. Sorry. I... No, you're okay. I I think I'm only kind of halfway understanding what's happening here. But it seems to me that this door, just like any other thing, is, is part of a, a bigger balance. And we've talked about how maybe we've put things out of balance. And this is just power or magic or whatever it is that sort of fuels all of this trying to find its way back. Does that make sense? It's, uh, it's, Loki said you had to get bad to get to good. We threw off the balance, so we're experiencing things that are not great. But that means eventually things will get better. But how do we facilitate that happening? Well, if you give me the crowns, Loki says, uh, still You can't better. have the crowns. <clears throat> Yeah, you actually have to be nominated and elected to get a crown, Loki. So unfortunately, I don't think you can. You're not part of the school also, body. Yeah, yeah, you have to be going to school or whatever. Yeah. So I was, I was charged with their protection and safekeeping, and I, I don't want to appear irresponsible and, and, and incapable to, yeah, to the people who gave me that responsibility. I mean, we're the safety squad, and that kind of seems unsafe. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Kwame is looking at the Phantom Queen still. You said that the door to oblivion is death itself. But death does not equate evil, just like life does not equate goodness. Is this thing just, as Manny has also said, expecting the balance and whoever is the avatar is now throwing off that balance in their favor? I honestly don't know. How did it make you feel? Did you feel changed by the door? Other than your own need to find it, which thus changed yourself, did the door change you? Oh yeah. Was there like a like a like a PowerPoint or whatever? And they're like, here's our evil plan. It made me do things I wish I hadn't done. Hurting you. Kidnapping. I'm just confirming that the door itself is a problem and not just a vehicle to the problem. I honestly don't know. I think the door might be a neutral party. I think there might be something more to it than just the door. Man, this is getting like heck of more complicated than like I was intending it to be. Cause like, cause like it before it was just like, you know, occasionally there's things that like show up and like, you know, you punch them. Uh, but now it's like, you know, it's like a door, which is like not evil, but like doing bad, but we can't, we're not supposed to stop it or whatever. It's like twisting my brain. Well, Loki says, uh, straightening out his ears a little bit in an attempt to look a little more presentable and a little less like a uh, green and red bunny. <laughs> well, 
I do know how every event is going to play out ever. It's part of my job to ruin said events or make them happen. I am a trickster after all. Right now, I had... Right now, I just need to, you know, steal the crowns, but he glances up at Manny. I will not, because I like you. But... But wait, if if you, like, know how everything's going to go, and then you disrupt, is this how this was supposed to go? Or did we disrupt you, thus proving that you can't prove... Wait. It's okay, take your time, Pat Pat. Usually I'm the one who's going through this, Lenny, not you. Yeah, it's it's like... Do you need a protein cake. shake? Yeah, I actually have not eaten today. You did eat a little bit, but like it was only vegetables that were steamed and barely anything of substance. You're right. I didn't even get my brownie. Are you even taking vitamins? Lenny, uh, we have to talk about this. Uh, yeah, I'm on a very... I have a, uh, I, I actually take a lot of supplements. But supplements are not exactly a replacement for a healthy and balanced meal. Anyways, yeah. Have you ever heard, heard of Huel? Huh? I will, I will kick you. I have What's not, but I will kick Huel? you. Anyway, so you can have the crowns. But I don't think that there's necessarily any harm in following Loki to wherever it is that Loki goes and seeing if we can get some information that way. Well, I do have one suggestion that does not involve me taking your crowns. As I said, I won't do it because we're, you know, we are. I, I don't want to have to maybe potentially kill you because that would suck. Yes, I don't want to have to potentially kill you either because we are, as I will not say, we are. But, um... Well, you could certainly try that. I don't think you'd succeed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't let you. Hmm. This is not the time, Loki. This is not the time, and we do not fight friends. Uh, Damn, you said it. it, you said it, you <laughs> said it, you said it. <laughs> we, we freaking got you. The ears droop. Right, okay. <clears throat> Regardless, one suggestion I have is you let the White King take a piece. Like, willingly? What's that? Well, well, what does that mean? Like, give... Give him a room on campus or give him one of us? I, well, some time. Well, let's see. There are a lot of you. He probably would be pretty satisfied if one of you died. But, uh, no. maybe no. he'd be more like, maybe he'd be more satisfied if you just let him destroy part of the school. Uh, well, and why okay. exactly would we do that? Yeah. Simple. He gets his uh, back scratched, gets a little satisfied, and you don't have to deal with him for a minute. For a minute? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's, like, this, like, whole thing we were learning about history uh, where, like, this bad dude was all like, hey, if you let me do this, I'll stop doing bad things. And then they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he would do the bad thing and be like, uh, change my mind. I'm going to keep doing the bad things. Uh, and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think it was somebody else. Uh, but yeah, so like, if we like let bad things happen, then then it's just okay for bad things to happen. I mean, give an inch, they'll take a mile. This is true. So this is what I am hearing. You're not going to tell us what is going on because of some guess or whatever is upon you. You are suggesting that instead of you stealing something, we just let part of the school and potentially other lives be in danger because you want this person to have a little fun and then be done for a figurative 60 seconds. Yes, and during that 60 seconds, I help you figure out something to maybe make me not this and also how to deal with the door or the White King who seems to be the new uh, Phantom Queen. I'm glad we're breaking the breaking. Barriers here. 
No barriers are breaking. We've broken. like reversed a barrier. All I'm hearing is that you are an incompetent rabbit who has nothing else to actually help us or give us that are, that's beneficial. I'm hearing what words upon words do? upon words from a trickster. Trust me, I have one on my shoulder. Anansi appears. It's true. I'm better. He's better. Fine. If you, what is it you ask? Exactly. Let's see if there's something I can offer you, apart from not taking the, you know, jewelry. Oh, can hmm. we like? Do you think they'd notice if we, if like we give you like a fake crown? Anansi, oh, I have yeah. a question for you. Hmm. Anansi, who was still on your shoulder, uh, glances up. Yes. Unlike these Anglo-Saxons, you are here for quite a long time, so I know your power. But I also know what you are not interested in doing. I haven't tried something like this, but do you think you have the ability to spin your web so hard that this curse upon them never existed at all? It sounds like a challenge. Oh, yeah. And like, um, Mahat is, uh, you know, is all truth and whatever. So maybe like the two of you working together can like hecka, hecka just break it. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, I could get the prop guys down at the theater department to make crowns that glow, like replacement crowns. And then maybe we could pass them off as the real thing. And Nikasi always I says, in wine, there's truth. I, I, I will say that I don't think anybody but myself could see that the the, clank, the, the crowns were glowing. I, I think we can oh. see it because of our divinity, but I don't think anybody else can. Yeah, but would they be able to tell if it was a glow that everyone could see rather than a glow only we could see? I don't know. I think if you if that's a thing in theater, if you believe it hard enough, everyone in the audience will will believe it as well with you. So if we can pass it off, if we just believe these fake crowns that we make will be good, I think we could. this could be the acting performance of a lifetime. Yeah. It, it, it's a little bit twisty, but if Maude is okay with it, y'all know how I feel about lies. Yes, but it's more, it's less of a lie and more of a necessity. Like I said, if she's cool with it, it's whatever for me. So, Stephen talking. Uh, it sounds like Kwame wants to try to reverse the chaos. Uh, chaos? I've never been sure how to say that. Chaos. I've heard so many different words. I've heard me too. Yeah. I've heard so many different things. Yeah, so. it's it's. Gash, gash. 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 I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, like, I know something like and a sh is in there. <laughs> I can pronounce gash. gusher. Gusher, fuck off. Well, you know, that's, <laughs> that's how it goes with, uh, with the Celtic. The last of the rebellion. Gash. Yes. Um, sounds like Kwame wants to try to remove the gash, uh, gash, uh, the geesh from uh, Loki. And um, Mika would like to, and Dahlia wants to try to make replacement crowns to possibly trick the Phantom King. Am I following correctly? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. So, uh, Dahlia, you're aware that making these replacement crowns would take uh, some. It would take some begging. You'd probably have to get Xander on your side. You'd probably have to talk to some people in the props department, and you know those guys are. They, they take their job very seriously, like everyone else in your club. But it might be doable. Uh, Kwame, you know Anansi is very powerful. You have possibly one of the most powerful divinities in your crew. It just, this is very big. So he would have to try very hard. So it's not impossible, but the role would be difficult. Yep. And we do not have re-rolls yet. We are $25 away. So that's one tarot card pool and a one toast. Just throwing that out there. 
You can do it, Chad. I believe in you. And while we're looking at chat, well, uh, we're looking at the the proverbial TV screen in which people are looking at us, um, I will still look at Kwame, look at Anansi, and I say, I will not force you to try to do something that might hurt you any longer. But it sounds like this rabbit isn't giving us any information that's going to be useful, and their suggestions are almost asinine. We need the truth, Ma'at. We need it now. If you can help us get it, that would be very great. All right. So, Omega, I'm going to have you spend the AP point. And let's go ahead and make this a uh, power charisma roll. And, uh, Manny, it sounds like uh, you're having, uh, Aki, it sounds like you're having Manny assist. Yes. All right. Go ahead and spin an AP point as well, and we'll add two to the roll. Cool. Okay. 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 That looks really good, though. Um, that is a nine on the 10 and an eight on the 12. That's 17, 19. 19. Okay. Um, A Nazi closes their many eyes and then reopens them, and they are shining gold like the wings of Ma'at. Uh, for a brief moment, uh, you see a Nazi floating uh, with the golden wings. Don't like that. Flying spiders, everyone. <laughs> That's an image I never needed. No, but me neither. I kind of want to crawl under my desk now. But. You did this. I know, you. I know. My thing with bugs haunts me. But, uh, yes. As Anansi floats there for a moment, uh, a they shoot a literal web of gold towards Loki. It envelops them, it cocoons them, and then breaks apart. Uh, in front of you is still a rabbit, but instead of long rabbit ears, it now has horns. Uh, and it's more jagged. Manny, it looks like a shrunken version of what Loki is supposed to look like to you. Still not completely there, but that, that looks like something's been removed in a good way. Well, hi, friend. Oh, my God, I hated that. Ah, I hate being everyone's servant. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hello. Hello. Hi. I am Loki. How are you? Many, many, many. My good non-binary person. They hop off the bed. And you just... can't just, you can call me that word again. You, you, there's a, lo there's oh, a no. shorter no, 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 version no, no. of what you just said. Yes. Starts Perhaps with later. F. Ends with a D. Anyway, I'm just going to shake your hand real quick. They reach up, realizing that they're still short. Well, we're about 65% there. I'll call that a victory for the day. You should also say thank you to Kwame and Anansi. Yep. Thanks. With, with a little bit more enthusiasm and sincerity, please. <sighs> thank you for removing most of what the King in White has put on me. I want to know exactly what was removed before I even say you're welcome. Uh, it was not okay. It wasn't anything. What you removed was what he put on me. I was supposed to serve the Phantom Queen. I betrayed the Phantom Queen because I knew if I betrayed her and helped you all out, I would eventually get my freedom back and you guys would get your happy ending. The problem is, I was not expecting something to come out of the door, let alone a reanimated god corpse with a penchant for chess. I got it right. I get it. I got it right. Yay. Nice. Maybe I am smart. You are smart, Manny. You're one of the smartest people I know. Thanks. Now you're welcome. Yes. Uh, so, what exact... So, long story short, 
the king in white serves something beyond the door. Something I can't really comprehend. Because I haven't died. It needs those crowns. I was told, get the crowns. I intended to get the crowns and then hide said crowns because Loki. So you never intended to actually take them to the being behind the door? Absolutely not. Well, that's comforting to know. Yes. But you couldn't tell us that. I couldn't. I physically could not. Well, I'm glad you can tell us now. Yeah. You and me both. Wait a second. Yeah, hold again. I have horns again. Yes, you do. They look very nice. I you. have horns again! Oh. I look at him and I'll say, thank you for not being that brand of overdramatic. Hey, I'm I... more of a smoke a cigarette and follow in the chase lounge. Overdramatic, not like that. You know, they're they're all all brands of overdramatic. Well, almost all brands of overdramatic are good. There are a few brands of overdramatic that can go burn in a ditch, but otherwise, we love overdramatic. Anyways, okay, so I like your idea of hiding the crowns. I think that's actually a really good idea. Um, I just think that we should get to decide where that happens. I mean, I will gladly work with you now that I can actually communicate with you. The reason I wasn't going to tell you anything was I physically could not. No, that's okay. That's why we did what we did, because you were obviously being uh, incapacitated in a way that you had no control over. And so, therefore, we did what we could to uh, assist you. Yes, and that is very much appreciated. Well, we're friends after all. Mm. Uh. Yeah, heard me. Anyways, anybody else have any ideas what we should do? Because I honestly agree with Kwame. There is no way we can let the White King just come in here and wreck a wing of the school. Unless, of course, Lenny, you want you want the your dad's wing. We could wreck your dad's wing. I mean, that might like, be cathartic for you. No, nah, I I mean, because if they smash it, like they're like we. There would be people in there, so we'd have to like make sure that they weren't weren't there. And then they just rebuild it, and maybe they wouldn't rebuild it, so that wing would just stop. This is, my dad probably wouldn't pay for another whole wing unless like he had like a specific reason. So it, it just like it would end up hurting more people. Well, I know if we don't take the wing out, I know that like if we do something with the fields, the sports fields. Those will get rebuilt in like two days. Cause we don't have to destroy anything. Yeah. I was going to nominate the old auditorium next if, if that was the, the thing. But you're right. You're right, Kwame. Just throwing you out ideas. We're Plan C's. Plans, Plans D's, E's, and F's. As like, yes. uh, like Y. Plan Y, not Y, but oh, also okay. Y. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, your information has given me two more questions. Reanimated God corpse with a pension for chest does not tell us exactly oh. who this once God was. Yeah, that, that is... might be able to give us information on how to defeat that. God corpse with a pension for chest. Uh, I would like all of you to give me a charisma roll. Sure. I'm, I'm looking for a five. Me. Literally am... impossible. Do that. There's an eleven. Turn like you asked. I, I have a D12 for eight. those. <laughs> uh, Lenny, you're still contemplating the idea of what your father would do if they destroyed the wing he donated. It's is it still like like a tax write-off if he like gets destroyed? I guess it like he spends it. And is it another tax write-off? Like, yeah. uh, the rest of you have noticed. Uh, a soft weeping behind you as uh, the Morrigan cries tears of gold. And Kim looks pissed. It clicks. Are you okay? Oh. oh. Are you guys stupid? Is, the, is, is, is that what happened? Like, I died and everyone got really dumb? Kim We're says. Not 
hold on, on. just a second. No, we don't no, you. I'm not going to hold on a second. We, we're not either of those things that you just said, but no. we can admit to some level of not knowing what's going on. I mean, we just got here, if, if you haven't noticed, and sure, we're ignorant about a few things, but we're trying to figure it out. We're not, yeah. we are definitely not attempting to hurt the Morrigan. And if this, this, this undead person is her Say husband. It. Yeah. Then obviously we would try to do for him what we did for her. Yeah, like we're we're willing to help, and uh, I don't understand why you're like so angry. Like Morgan literally threw me through a wall like a couple of months ago, and I'm yeah. like totally cool with like helping helping her out. So like, chill. And, like Kim, I get that you went through a lot, but just because we can't put it together as fast as you doesn't mean you can insult us. Like not, if you yeah. already put it together, just tell us and say. I didn't the put insult. it together, but. Hey, Kim. You made her cry. Yeah. And and if you yell at us like that, you can make us cry. And you don't want to kill two birds with one stone like that. Be nice about it. We are we are really sorry if we if we've done anything to hurt your feelings, Morgan. But we I mean it. If we can help, that's what we're gonna do. We helped you. You don't know if you can. No, we don't, but we're going to try anyway. They told us we couldn't beat the Phantom Queen. Do we didn't know if we could bring you back from the dead, but we tried and we did. So have a little faith. We're the safety squad. This isn't about knowing whether we can do something. This is about trying, because if we don't, who will? Exactly. And Sorry. I think that we've proven more than once that we don't have any interest in vendettas or, or vengeance or being unnecessarily cruel. We were chosen because we want to help. And to be quite honest, if I wasn't chosen, I would be happier. But yet I'm here and I'm doing this because if I don't, Again, who will? You can count on us, Kim. Sorry. Sorry. You've uh, been through a lot. You should, I know we've mentioned it before, but I mean, and I know that there's not really anybody who can exactly relate to what you're going through, but there's nothing wrong with asking for help. The Morgan approaches Kim from behind and puts a feathered hand on her shoulder. Again, I'm sorry. I didn't put it together either till he started talking about a reanimated dead god. It just made sense to me. And then I saw her crying, and I got, again, I'm sorry. It's all right. Thank you for apologizing. But we do have to ask one last question. And it's going to bring back memories that might cause more tears. Who was your husband? That we still do not know. In unison, uh, both Kim and the Morrigan tell you the dead god's name. The doctor. The good god. Well, at least we have a place to start for research. Mm. The more we know about him, the better equipped we are to figure out a way to help him. You said, Loki, that he likes chess? Apparently. 
I can't imagine and, why Elsie has this whole aesthetic going on. And what we've been doing so far is removing pieces from the board, which basically means we are getting closer to the king. We already have his queen. I mean, but don't, don't you have to see all the pieces to get a good idea of who's going to win? Of course. I think that's absolutely how chess works. But that's a really good point, Dahlia. Is there any way that we could sit down and figure out where all his pieces are? I think we know where all of ours are, or at least most of them. This is probably a waste of your talents, Nancy, but could you create a chess board for us? Uh, I mean, yes. Yeah. Do we do we need to see one physically? I don't think so. We just need a man. So there's like there's like there's like board games and stuff in the common room. I think there's probably a chess board in there. I would I would just rather not um, cause stress creating something that we could find in this school. That's all. Oh, that's absolutely valid. Sorry, I. Oh, no, 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 no need cool. to apologize. I just, I'm trust and believe. I have, sorry, Anansi, I've done things to make sure what I need happens, happens. But that, hold on, out of character, that sounds like non consensual shit, and that's not what that was. Um, <laughs> but um, still, um, <gasps> we can find something. Wait, yeah. what? Huh? My my mom got me um, a magnetic chessboard that I can use on like airplanes or in the car, so like the pieces don't move whenever we're in the airplane or the car. I only use it once because I don't really like chess. I'm gonna be honest. So I think it's somewhere in my room. I can grab it. Okay. That being said, it'd be super cool to one day see a Nancy like spin like a giant spectral chessboard. It'd be a lot of fun. Maybe one day. One day I um, went to a carnival and I uh, saw someone who did not win the big teddy bear. So I got them a better thing. It was a spider. They screamed, <laughs> but it was still a big... You spun them a giant spider. That is both wonderful and terrible. When the window spiders, I go, hey. I think I would have screamed too. I thought it was romantic. That was not Nancy's voice. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good voice actor. You all know this. You're doing <laughs> fine, Steven. Don't encourage his bad behavior. Uh, oh, by the way, Stumpomatic, Pike One, Mel, Mel Pimento, and uh, uh, 54 Aqua Snakes. Too many Aqua Snakes. Too snakes. many snakes. Too many snakes. That <laughs> is 53. For, too many snakes. Thank you all for subscribing. <laughs> Uh, so Mika, you, uh, Dahlia, you head over to your room, uh, because you all live on the same floor, except for, uh, Kwame, who I don't Kwame. believe. I Kwame don't moved Kwame up to Iris's room, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Iris Shout out to in Iris. Paris. Shout out to Iris in the house. Living it up in Paris. By the way, if we get 25 subscribers, we will be checking in on her today. So, uh. Run that out there. Irie in Paris. <laughs> I'd watch that Netflix special. That's better than the <laughs> other one. Uh, Dahlia, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll real fast. What are you looking for? We're just looking for a two. I got a five. Perfect. Yeah. Um, it's at the bottom of your closet. It's underneath like the, oh, these will be great shoes. Oh, God, these shoes are terrible. So we'll just put them in here because I spent money on them. But here's... Maybe one day. One day. I refuse to believe I'm the only person who does that. Um, you find the magnetic chessboard you were looking for, and it does have all the pieces. Perfect. I'll take it back to my friends. All right. So I'm going to need an intelligence roll from all of you. I'm looking for at least a seven. I got a two. Same. <laughs> Don't let us down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One. Manny, it's up to you. What am I rolling? I have a D10, too. That's the worst part. I'm sorry, one? I'm sorry, what? 
Intelligence. Intelligence. Oh gosh, I don't. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't have a D four anymore, so that's helpful. But let's oh, see no. what happens here. Do you have any re rolls? I have a fucking D ten. <laughs> we are ten dollars away from re rolls, so. I I rolled a a two. <gasps> Same for me and Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> two, 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 and one. Wow. Wow. We're all too, we're all too stuck If we on add this. them all together, they don't even... It's <laughs> <laughs> <They're still gone. laughs> That's rough, y'all. That's you said, rough. Uh, you said ten? Rough. I'm looking for a seven, at least. No, but uh, you, you said ten until we get to reroll? Yeah. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Totally. Totally interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, Hold on. This thing is... Flying and then that and then push that button. Bamp, 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 bamp. Oh, push crazy! This oh, crazy! That's weird. Goodness! Wow! How how strange! Oh, where did that come from? Oh, that thank you, thank you for the tip. Is that is so, it? Yes, we have unlocked re rolls. We have R. five rolls for the table. Micah? Is that yeah. right? Who's that? Must be a local. Don't know that. <laughs> it's Representative <laughs> Micah. Yeah. Thank you. Is that so? Is that we that? can re roll. Is that what you said? There are five rerolls available. Who has the I highest intelligence? Oh, goodness. Me, I have a 10. Okay, yes. Kwame, hit it. Okay, that's an eight. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, freak. freak. Uh, Dahlia, you take this chessboard out and you put it between uh, the the four of you with Kim and Mike's there too. And Mike is just kind of in the background, like doodle, 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 doodle. You mean Nick? Nick. Why'd I call him Mike? <laughs> Mike's his brother. <laughs> Nick just doodles, It's just like, like some guy named Mike. He's like, hey, are you guys playing chess? <laughs> and I'm eating his microwavable noodles. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Yes. Um, um, you all just kind of have a moment of does that, where you all realize, oh, that's right. I don't really know how to play chess. Yeah. Then, um, so the pieces in this are just like little flat pieces because it's – Supposed to be travel size, so you can close it up and then it's magnetic. And then when you're ready to come back to the game, you open it up and all the pieces are still there, which I think is really helpful for this situation. Yeah, but I don't know where they go. I had a set once, but like all the pieces, uh, had like had on the front of them, they were really big and they had and they told you how they could move. Oh, for like grandparents, uh, or kids, or or kids, you know, yeah. I threw the instructions away. So, do you guys know how to play chess? I'm just um, looking at it, seeing. Yeah, I. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, all I know is that we've removed a rook, a knight, and two pawns from the king's side, and we have also captured the queen. Okay, easy. The knights are the ones with the horses, but the rook, I think, is the one that's like. Is it the tower? I think it's the tower. Or the pointy one. I think the wow. pointy one is the bishop. As Kwame did succeed on the roll. Kwame, you, yes. you might not know how to like win a lot of chess games, but you at least remember like what each piece is. Kwame likes chess. Oh. <laughs> We've never got that. We've never talked about like hobbies and shit. Kwame likes chess. Nice. You, I love it. So while well, Manny and Dahlia and Lenny are having conversations about this, you are just pluck, 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 move, mm -hmm. pluck. Like that's a knight, oh. that's a bishop. Uh, that's that's my buddy Rook. Ricky had a Star Wars one, so they they looked all different on that one. I Whoa. am so proud of you, Linux. So we know that we have an idea. We have the rook. Um, well, we probably have a rook. Um, I mean, sorry, we have a pawn, which was the dog, perhaps. Yeah, the rook us. or the tower was the was the the big thing that we fought in the auditorium yeah we quite literally fought a horse which makes me believe that was a knight mm -hmm. yes and there was the one thing that kim and mike fought as well the uh, uh, a, a, a squid kangaroo? a bunny a, a kangaroo i don't remember uh, it, it's nick um we we, we fought sorry a... nick a what sir a, 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 a penguin a penguin that's right penguin. I don't know what that would represent, personally. Pawn? Another pawn, maybe? I don't know. Would it, because it kind of matches the shape, would it be a bishop? I 
don't know. It wasn't uh, very, very strong. I think it might have been a pawn. Okay. Was it? Was it only moving sideways? It waddled. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And like I said, Morgan represents the beautiful queen. Mm-hmm. So, who's our queen? Dahlia, obviously. Uh, I mean, oh. Dahlia can be. I think the idea is that they haven't been crowned yet. Yeah. Or the crowns are count or whatever. I think the line of thought was that Persephone is the queen of the underworld, and so queen there. But that, well, would, that would technically mean that Hades would be our king because they're married. But essentially, I believe the king and queen were meant to be chosen and crowned as part of prom court. But yes. because it's not prom a king and queen anymore in its prom court, I don't know. Just that the crowns are magic. I believe, yes, that all of you are correct. We do not have our king or queen in these terms yet, but we will when someone is crowned or when someone places the crown upon their head, that's when something will happen. So I'm curious. I'm just had like a thought and I'm sorry, I'm interrupting, but I, I want to say it before I lose it. Um, you think like the reason why they wanted Loki to steal the crowns is not because the crowns are powerful, but like when someone is crowned, they become powerful like like if denying the game or whatever like if if we never crown a our wait. king or queen then we can't play wait but the whole what if they were stealing the crown so that they could forcibly crown the person that they want king and queen to be like they get to choose instead of it being a, a choice a lottery thing could be yeah because then they could just choose like anyone yeah and this i know that it's the the prom court, which means that the school is actually choosing. But we, in a way, can influence that with enough campaigning. And we can put whoever we want in king and queen spot. The best people. Also, we could cheat. And then he turns away from, from Manny and goes, oh, we could also cheat. Kim gets the biggest grin. Lenny, I am not going to cheat. Because if I win this, I and I win it. to cheat. No. I, yes. don't, I don't want to. We but should. like, I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't want like, you know, so, 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 some some rando being all like, you know, oh, 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 sick, I'm 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 prom court, and oh, what's this monsters? Ah, yeah, but I don't think we have to cheat to win. I don't think we either. All we have to do is campaign really well. We get our person. We put a lot of effort and flyers and buttons behind them, and maybe even get some like truthful slander going against the ones that we don't want to be king and queen but that's like a worst case scenario type thing not that i've want, thought about it a ooh, lot i love this idea too let's do this idea instead of my cheating idea i don't like the idea of going negative uh i think you, you go negative in, as a response to someone else going negative if we're the first ones then we don't have the high ground yeah this it, was, it was a worst case scenario this is the thing two out of four of us are already nominated and i have no reason to believe that either of them won't win. If we can get the rest of us nominated, it's very possible we could win too. I'm just mm -hmm. saying there are ways to stack this without cheating. I think every single one of you, if you want a nomination or want to win, are fully deserving of that. But yes, Kwame, go ahead. I apologize. No, no, no. You did not um, do anything. I'm just, if we really want to be nominated that badly, the proverbial spider on my shoulder can make that happen. Well, it's... It's really fun to like think about that and how easy it would be, but I think putting the effort in and getting the win ourselves would be the best thing. Some of us put in double the habit effort of most people who only get half of it in profit. So if I can flip that and push that for you, I will. Oh yeah. I mean I I definitely put in the least effort and get so much out of the world. So I'm like I'm okay with like you know, shifting things around for other people's favor. But if you really want to, I we will put together an uh, 
An amazing campaign trail for Dahlia Wingrove and Emancipation Brown. I don't want to be nominated. Thank you. I just wanted the option. Oh. I'm wondering Maybe. if we could meet in the middle with this, though, Kwame. Like, instead of it being a popularity contest, what if you spin it to where everyone's votes is what they actually truly think a good prom king and queen or prom court would be? Instead of being like, I'm going to vote for my friend Chad on the football team. That, uh, that goes into um, mental manipulation. Oh. And that's not really what the story does. So not really in my element of um, play. At least I don't believe so. Okay. I'm still learning. I'm very sorry. No, no need to. No, I am putting stuff. I'm going to find like the nearest, like not even. What room are we in? First of all, right now we're in Manny's room. We're in Manny's room. Yeah. Manny, do you have like a gavel or something in here? (laughs) I mean, I am. I am the manager of the, um, of the pep squad. So I imagine the answer to that is yes. I'm fine. But like, it's probably it, it, one of those like those like those Japanese like squeaky mallets that they use on like the uh, on oh, like yeah. the variety shows. It's probably one of those. I like take it and get squeaky. <laughs> no more saying I'm sorry for things you are just doing. You do not have to apologize each time you ask a question. Okay. Well, none of you. Okay. Okay. I'm. Oh no. Never mind. All right. Got it. Okay. So. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not interested in being part of the court. And in fact, I think it's a good idea if one of us isn't in it to, in order to like keep watch and keep their eyes open on things. I mostly just asked them to change the rules because I didn't like that there wasn't an option. Uh, and maybe now somebody else who's non-binary can get nominated. Yeah, that's all. But also, I just thought it was dumb that there's only a prom king and queen. No, I was hecka stupid. Nick uh, clears his throat. Uh, sorry. And sorry, uh, by dumb, I actually mean ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I um, I agree. It is uh, silly. Uh, um, so uh, I could I could help uh, I could help you, Manny, with um, the. Uh, campaigning because because that sounds like what you're going to be doing yeah you nick do you do you want to like maybe get paid uh to draw some really like nice posters um for, for kwame sure cool i think you should get paid to make some really nice posters oh, okay uh, he turns his sketchbook around, and he's already made one. Ooh, it's beautiful. It All is. Right. Uh, it's it's a little insensitive, but it's Kwame kind of uh, as Black Panther. Not oh. insensitive at all. He's like, oh, that was so kind of you. Thank you. I mean, I like that. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have really nice poster for Kwame. I would really like to see if we could find somebody willing to do some really good art of Dahlia, because I think that I think that she should definitely be nominated as well. And then of course, you know, Lenny Lenny is like, well, he was the football quarterback, so I don't think he needs a lot of work. But you know, like he did mentioned earlier that his popularity capital might have gone down because he's joined the safety squad. So we can do some rehabilitation on that. But yeah. Oh, I have many ideas. I feel like we're going into like this Marvel area. Like, you know, then he could be like Captain America, but you know, eh, fuck America. Uh, Maybe like Iron Man uh, too capitalistic. Maybe like, uh, I don't know. Well, Captain America wasn't really for America. He's for the people. He's for the people. Yeah, he's he more is. like he's, he's always he been was, an representation of like the ideas of what America can be and should be. Yeah, yeah, definitely better than America itself. Captain Which North believe, Point, Linny. No, Dahlia, okay. Dahlia can be Captain Marvel. I also no. thought about you know Scarlet Witch. Or you know, Scarlet kind Witch of dramatic. Would also be very cool. 
being what? fun. You look good in red. Oh my gosh. She's going to like start crying a little. But I don't uh, think we need to like put all our eggs in like all the baskets. I think we should like focus up. Like, so if we, we could just focus on like, we, we got two crowns, focus on two people. Don't split the vote. Just like go hard on Kwame and Dahlia and then like, like, just try and get that done. Well, the, also the question is, we have, we know that four people will be crowned. Specifically, who gets these two crowns? Yes. Well, this is the thing. I have already decided I am not buying crowns uh, for the other two. So I think, I think what's going on is that there are two upperclassmen and two lowerclassmen. I could see if I can convince... Uh, the pep squad to reserve one crown for upperclassmen and one crown for lowerclassmen. So that way, uh, if you or Lenny or you or Dahlia get crowned, we have one of each. Does that make sense? That does make the most sense, yes. Yeah. We're really banking on me winning. I think you will. I think you can. I mean, that's that's like the surest bet I've ever seen. It would be the greatest story ever told. Mm, I oh. like Helen of Troy. But a close second. I appreciate I'm going to get real with all of you really quick. I've never won anything in my life. So, if we're looking at this honestly. It seems I'm like gonna it's try. about... If you've never won anything in your life, then it seems like it's about time you started. Yeah. And you have us to help you. Also, that seems like like super weird because like you always project this energy of like someone who's always like winning. I just assume like you were like top dog wherever you went. So like it's weird to hear well, you say that. Well, in in like my mind, I do feel like I'm winning all the time. Like I'm really proud of myself, but I don't have anything to show for that because I don't actually win in in the, the in the tangible way. You know, I believe there is a phrase in showbiz called that that goes. Fake it till you make it. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Fake your way to the top. Yeah, I understand that. Oh, that. Oh. But maybe <laughs> yes. This will be the time where it aligns up, where what I feel inside is actually what happens. So it'll be fine. Just have to do our best. Well, um, we probably uh, should, because I'm sure the bell is going to be ringing anytime soon. Um, We'll, we will figure out, let's put all of our efforts into getting Dahlia at least nominated, since yeah. you and I already are, Linux. Um, make sure that the world sees Dahlia the way we see her. Get her nominated. We'll be good. We'll be happy. Spiro will probably hug her. Something will happen. I do not know. Uh, goodness, what on earth are they doing? Oh, right. Um, uh, we and, come to Spiro and he's just passed out face down on a couch somewhere. Like we, it's should, not sexy. we should talk to Lenny. Not Lenny, sorry. We need to talk to Helen. Helen would be helpful here too. Lenny, do you think you can talk to Helen? Uh, yeah. <sighs> well, it sounds like you have a plan and I very much respect it. Oh, before I go, um, Loki holds up his paws and for a brief moment, the room is it engulfed in a blinding green light. And you're welcome. Goodbye. Uh, huh? Loki begins to hop off as we have unlocked uh, powers as the plot demands. Each member of the S3 club gets a new power crafted by Steven. This is not related to your divinity power. This is just something you can now do. Oh, no. Oh, yes. So oh. that's what they're doing. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Cool. Um, also, thanks to Marcus Crocs. I hope I'm saying your name right. We will be drawing from the deck of heroes, and they have chosen two. So let me draw three real fast. The Hanged Man, upright. The Hanged Man, poor communication, things going awry. I will have fun with that in a moment. But before that, like that, as the four of you feel your bodies tingle with a new energy, 
you hear the familiar noises of bum 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 bum. Good afternoon, students of North Pine Academy. Uh, it, uh, we got an announcement today. First one's from It's a Me Bondo. Uh, they say, uh, students, make sure to thank Dahlia for bringing rye rolls to class. Yes, rye was an interesting choice, but it's the effort that counts. I don't, I don't get with these kids. I like a good rye. Uh, Especially with corned beef on it. Next one we got from uh, Marcus. Uh, says, uh, have fun, kids. That's short and sweet. And that's, that, that's all the announcements I got. I'm going to go lay down for a bit. Did I, <laughs> did I order rye rolls? I thought I got sourdough. I like rye, especially rye. Uh, with pastrami. And, 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 yeah, and sauerkraut. Rye is good. Manny, I'm going to invite you back over to uh, my family's dinner so you can have more soul food because pastrami and rye, no. What's I, pastrami, listen, rye, you, a little sauerkraut, uh, some, some, some Russian dressing. It's like you got yourself a Reuben right there. I like all kinds of foods and am indiscriminate about things that are delicious. Uh, and so I accept your invitation. And then put, put uh, a little stank in that. Mm -mm, and nope. then I, I one, two. Um, you should come over and have some North, um, some Egyptian food at my place sometime. Oh, that sounds good. That does. Sound Anything better delicious. than Russian dressing, which I still don't know. You can what replace that means. with French. It's. I, it, nope. You or, usually can interpose two white things. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's still European. It's fine, or you're Eurasian, I guess. Hey, um, what did Loki just do to us? I have uh, no idea. I don't think I care for him. I love him. To be fair, He's Trickster crazy. versus Trickster, I only care for one. I automatically hate all the others. I think that's just what it is. That makes He's sense. the best. Mm. He really likes me, too. <laughs> uh, as the four of you exit, Kwame, go ahead and give me a strength roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the book boy. Okay. Yeah, that's a three. <laughs> okay, on a nine. Uh, you no, ripped the door off the three. handle. Three. I know. That was a fail. No, he said it was a nine, so nice. I'm guessing there's something going on here. All right, everyone, let's. Uh the door has been removed off its hinges as we have unlocked new as new powers as plot demands has been unlocked. Kwame has unlocked the ability of super strength. Go ahead and put a plus six next to your strength stat. <laughs> Why? Oh no! I will Damn. say, however, one still count as you know crit fails in a couple rolls, but enjoy. Were those hinges not nailed in? Oh, my, uh, my I think door. Uh, hey, it wasn't me. You probably had bad things. We need to talk to Mason. Wow. I'm sorry. Kwame, get I, like, back up there. I, I didn't want to say anything, but like, yeah, like you've been getting a lot of gains lately. And it, I, and now we can see how it's playing out. No, no, this is no gains. Um, this is just me. I, I, I think that please something. Please tame just... your muscles. I do not have that much muscles. I am not Linux. I, I have a little bit, but not that. No. Sorry. I will. Um. We will call maintenance and get that back on there. Just I'll just I'll, I'll like kind of just prop it back up. No, somehow. I, got, I got this. I got this. Uh, and, and like Linux, uh, like goes and finds a, a a power drill and starts like trying to reassemble this. It's like it's my job. I'm the RA. I I, I got this. Yep. Thank you, Lenny. Sorry, uh, Kwame. No, what are you I'm thinking fine. right now? What am I? Thi oh no. Um. I'm thinking, what the shit? How did that happen? I'm sorry. And I'm like actually looking at, okay, was it faulty? I that that was just, you know, a coincidence, obviously. Like, Lenny, you hear all of that. Hey, I mean, it's okay. If, you know, coincidences happen. What? I said, like, coincidences happen or whatever. Like, he, you know. What are you talking about, Lenny? What well, did. I look at a Nazi. Hey, don't look at me. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, no. 
And Lenny, you're probably hearing, oh, shit, I fucking hit that rabbit. I am going to strangle them. I do not like this. He can he, he can read my mind now. Apparently, I'm strong. I don't know what this means. He's just, like, oh, rambling. Snap. It, Loki can read your mind now? That's, like, wow. That's messed up. No, apparently you can. Get out huh? of my head. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, what? I am thinking of, of bunnies now. Fucking Loki. You can it, hear it, what Kwame is thinking, Lenny? Uh, Lenny has the power of telepathy that he can read minds now. Uh, I, I guess. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so heckin' sorry. That's not, that's on me. That's like an invasion of privacy or whatever. Yeah, turn it off. I, I'm not. Turn I, it off. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try you know, to, to do that because that's like, that's like not cool. Still trying to fix the door. Two very handsome boys fixing my door. That's fine. And odd, oddly specific there, Manny. <laughs> Just throwing that one out there. I mean, they are. There are two very handsome young men, and they're fixing my door. It's very kind of them. Yeah. Maybe can, my door can, will break later today. <laughs> Hey Spiro, you want to I mean, help fix my a, door too? I can, give it a, <laughs> I can give it a look if you're worried. Oh no, I I think it'll happen at the at an opportune moment when hey, someone's walking by. Whoa, I just had a thought. You think like the reason why I can like read Kwame's mind is like same same reason why he pulled that door off? Uh, I don't know why I pulled this door off, and I, and I have a feeling, and I don't want to admit this feeling. And you just hear if he if if he still can hear just Loki 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 I hate that rabbit Loki <laughs> Loki. <laughs> yeah. We can't hear what you're thinking. You're just looking very like there's a yeah. very distressed look on your face, Kwame. Very you're very concentrating. Perturbed. Because I don't want this individual to know what I'm thinking twenty four seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a, a weird thing to, uh, to. Does it does it help if you are further apart from each other? Like, does does the power weaken with distance? Because otherwise, you're gonna have a really hard time going to sleep at night. Lady. I go to the end of the room. Actually, no, I go down the hallway. I start to go in the room. And I go no, and I go down the hallway and just like look. I'm gonna walk up right next to Lenny and look up into his eyes. Can you read my mind? Uh. uh Lenny, you can choose when to read minds. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, uh, do do, do I, have, I have your permission? Do it. Okay, I'm gonna try and read Dahlia's mind. What What are you thinking, Dahlia? She's thinking about all the different prom dresses that she has to look and sort through, and which one would look best on stage, which one would glitter under the lights, oh, which one would look good with a crown. I mean, like, part of me is like, like. Blue is like, you know, the color of royalty or whatever, like purples. But like, you know, like you can't go wrong with red. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Unless that was a coincidence. It doesn't seem like he can read your mind, Kwame. You can come back now. Kwame, as you're walking back, the elevator door opens and you're greeted with the worst thing you could possibly see right now. A very tiny, very cute clown. But why? I walk past. <laughs> I stop. I look. I am going to kill that rabbit. And I keep walking. What? I'm just going to print pretend. Lenny. Not there. The clown is uh, actually walking next to you. Uh, speed walking. Um, Why are you here? Can you just what? turn the I other way? I live here. What? Kwame? Oh, yeah, we haven't met. I'm I'm May. Mayfoon, I live down the hall. I'm looking for Lenny. Lenny! Clown! Ah! Uh, <laughs> May? <laughs> yes. Uh, she removes her large blue wig. Um, she is... She's a Chinese girl, about uh, 15 or so. Yeah, listen, um, we're, I just got back from the, 
The circus club's kind of having some issues. I figured we I'd have a circus right. club. Nope. I like just <laughs> go back into the room, and just like face the window, not looking at her. Ah, snap. What's the issue? Uh, I don't really know how to describe it other than big dog. Ah, I tried to find a teacher, couldn't find a teacher, grabbed. I figured I'd find you instead. Oh, that's that's good etiquette. Yeah. Um, did you clear everyone out of there? I got everyone out of there. Uh, Zoya wouldn't go, but uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Well, don't, I mean, do worry about it, please. I don't. Yeah. Oh God, I'm, please, a, I'm gonna heck and I'm gonna heck and worry about it. But you don't have to. You've done all that you need to do. I I'd say like you know, head back to your room uh, and like uh, take it easy or whatever. I'm gonna call animal control. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no. There's like a protocol to all these things. So like I, I, you've passed it on and you've done everything that you were legally and morally required to do. You've done, you've gone above and beyond. I've got it from here. Cool. Hey, Manny. Uh, hey, Dolly. Uh, Hi. Um, <laughs> nice makeup. Oh, thanks. Looks like the clown white, white is really, is really starting to come along. Yeah, I'm still trying to get it like even. Every time I do it, I kind of look a little splotchy, and I'm trying not to look like the thing from it. But it's it's working. It's working. Um, Look side. No, Uh, he's a little bit. We don't talk about it. Got it. With that, May uh, hurries back to her room. Uh, Kwame, as you stare outside, you look down into the quad, and you do see uh, a large stone wolf-like creature. This one looks a little more monstrous than the one you faced in the uh, cafeteria that one time. And there is a woman uh, about your age in a leotard currently fighting it with a uh, ribbon on a stick and doing a pretty good job, actually. Uh, Lenny's just going to poke his head in and goes, uh, big monster. And <laughs> yeah, hey, I, see, I see a big monster. Go. Is she gone? She's he, gone. He, he, You're he's safe. headed. Yeah. Uh, also headed in that direction also while calling headed. over her shoulder. Yes, she's gone. You're safe. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, I like wait for like 10 seconds. And then I go. <laughs> Fair. Nope. As the four of you descend into the quad, I need everyone to roll me initiative as you are going up against another crow. Speed plus dex. Speed the- plus dex. Yes. Oh god! To roll initiative, you have to roll speed and dex. I got a four. Mm. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eleven. Nine. Nine. Eleven Nine. for Kwame. Yes, sir. Nine for Lenny. Mm-hmm. Or Manny. Four for Dahlia. Manny, sorry. Oh, nine for Manny. My name is Manny, not Lenny. Uh, Lenny, what'd you get? Seven. Seven for Lenny. Shab. And Dolly, what'd you get? A four? Yes. All right, we'll roll. Okay. Ah, not bad. So, as you come down, the wolf creature uh, rears up on its hind legs, splits in two, and then grows a human like torso. It now looks like a wolf centaur werewolf thing, and it's not pleasant to look at. Cool. Okay. Yes. And uh, who's which the student? Which chess that's... piece is this? Uh, fighting this, fighting this creature is Zoya. Um, you know they are of uh, Ru- they cu- they came to the school from Russia. They are. Uh, part of the school uh, trapeze and circus club. They got combined a couple years ago because the one school can only handle so many clowns running around. Yeah. And she's actually doing a pretty good job fighting this thing. Uh, however, the centaur will be going first and it will be striking at her. So let's go ahead and roll that. It's a D8 plus a D10 for me. I'm going to go ahead and narrate everything I'm doing for the sake of our audience. It got a 15 and that's going to hit. It does. Let's, oh boy. Oh, she does a good job dodging it. Uh, the werewolf centaur creature snaps at her and she puts up her arm to dodge and it slashes at her 
drawing a little bit of blood, but not as much as it could have. She is standing strong, and she comes sliding backwards. Oh! Hello! Zoya, you should get to safety. Thanks for holding it off. Oh, no. I fight with you. Uh... Uh, a safety squad concern? Uh, and we're I would ask step you away if you can. Yeah, you're going to have to go to the nurse, though. We'll do that later. First, we fight. And behind her appears a... Uh, it looks like the universe took scissors and cut out the shape of a man and in that space, you see stars. Oh. Large, oh. gold, uh, like, hand-stitched stars in a void. Oh. That's oh. right, everyone. We are introducing our first Patreon-created NPC. Ah. Created by Joe Vixani, this is Zoya. Wow. You can get your own ah. by checking out our Patreon. And is that a divinity? Is my divinity, yes. He's out of this world. But, um... Okay, well, you obviously can do things. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this in a moment. We fight now. All right, so Kwame and Zoya actually rolled the same initiative, so you will be taking your turn in tandem. Kwame, what are you going to do? Um, since we're out in the quad, which is outside, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, most people are already gone. Yes. Uh, okay. And I'm like, oh, um, actually, might as well put that rabbit's um, actions into good use. Um, and I look at Anansi and say, I'm not used to this. So um, help me out a bit. Um, uh, let Some me go outside. Your thumb it needs to go outside. I, I know, I know, but I, uh, uh, I'm st spin me a story in which you wake, make me a good weapon. What do you even use? Do you use claws? Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me spin you a story in which my finger and hands became the fangs of a spider. I want bloody knuckles that are fangs. Oh, that's so sick. I love it. Go ahead. Uh, spin the AP point. This is going to be intelligence power. Okay. Boom. Intelligence power. That is you and you. Dices. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. Wow. Okay. So you now have a... Uh, Weapon of nine power. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is basically you will be doing, uh, when you roll damage, add nine to the die. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, what do they yeah. look like as uh, he creates your... Uh, yeah, he, uh, I, he likes some of his webbing goes over my hands and as they form, they, they kind of go from that white silken look to black. Um, and then two like white piercing claw, uh, fangs come out from uh, the knuckle of my, my pinky and my index finger on both, on both sides. And I guess kind of like, all right, all right, I can do this. Uh, maybe. I haven't fought this much. Um, uh, and that is my turn. But I'm going to go up and get ready to just like box this thing. All right. <laughs> uh, she is going to try to hold it. Zoya is going to try to hold this thing steady. Uh, she missed it, though. Uh, using this uh, silk ribbon on a string, she tries to uh, wrap it around the werewolf's maw, and it, he just snaps it off. Favorite ribbon, not broken. Uh, Manny, it's your turn. Cool. Uh, Manny is going to go ahead and bust out their sword. Um, and their move is basically, they're going to try and run around behind this thing. But as they do, they're dragging the tip of their sword across the ground. Uh, basically kind of kick up a, a bit of like a protective wall. Um, uh, so that like students can't get in and this thing can't get out. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a defense and strength roll. And oh, and spend the AP point because right. this is definitely you and Ma working in tandem. Mm -hmm. I never healed from the last fight, so this should be fun. Yeah. Cool. 
Um, mm, yeah, that's a six. I'm not adding okay. anything, am I? Uh, no. Okay, cool. The six. Yes. Uh, with a six, we now have barrier three around the creature. So it's not your best. It's not the strongest wall you've ever made, Manny, but you're mostly getting yourself set up to do a hit later. So not a bad use of your turn. Uh, Lenny, it is now your, you're now up. Okay. I don't know what this will be, but I can read minds now. I would like Lenny to know what this creature is about to do right before it does it. Oh. Okay. Uh, why don't you give me intelligence defense? Okay. Let's go and do that. One of these is intelligence. That's this one. And defense is this one. Uh, that's a nine. On a nine. Good. Okay. Um, we were Sadly, this thing goes on a 12. You are not able to break its barrier. But you do have an idea of who it's going to strike next. Uh, it is definitely going to go for Manny. Okay. So you can share that information however you'd like. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. Manny, watch out! All right, Dahlia, you're up now. Uh, hearing Lenny shout, Manny, watch out, Dahlia is going to step uh, closer to the creature than Manny is and then outstretch her arms and create a bunch of clones of herself uh, in flora that ah. surround this thing. And then she's going to draw a sword with each of these clones. All right. And ready yourself to strike. Okay. Clones. I will say the higher your success on this, the more you'll, the better they'll be. Okay. All right. Because you yeah. are making a lot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, give me, uh, we'll make this intelligence defense as well. Intelligence and defense, please. I got a 14. Uh, 14, good, okay. Uh, you now have army seven. Okay. So basically this thing has to, if it gets below a seven on a roll, you will get, I'll let you have a free attack. Cool. Yes, uh, v Vien Ventar, thank you for the raid, very much appreciated. Also, just to let everyone in chat know, we are about uh, $50 away from pa Panic in the Bastille. Uh, the Doopsy, thank you for the resub. Uh, now, if you all recall, I drew the Hanged Man Tarot earlier. Don't do this to us. Don't do this to us. I absolutely will be doing this to you. Oh, man. Here we go. I will give you $10 to not do this right now. Mm. I will donate 20 subs right now to not do this to us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. Right, right. Uh, we will. So, we Kwame, will, willing. you have you have your fist ready. You're going to get into a fight. This is not going to be arranged. This is going. Nah, 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 you're nah, feeling. Nah, you're nah, feeling nah. it. And then you see a thing of white in the corner of your eye, and you see Stumpomatic, Mel Pomino, Peak One, and Fifty Four Aqua Snakes. All of them in clown makeup. You are being watched by clowns, and you all have the condition Clown 6. Cool. That's the clown music. Yes. Oh, that's that's the take your meds music, actually. But, you know. A very small car pulls up, and way too many people come out of it. <laughs> Kwame starts to get his dukes ready and he looks so just... Why are they here? Can they please go somewhere else? Go away! And he just starts yelling at them. <laughs> this is not where you need to be. Go. All right. He's just uh, yelling obscenities at them. If you move your tail, you have to go. Um. All right, it is now the uh, werewolf centaur crow's turn to go uh, as it starts off the initiative. It is going to go after you, Manny, but you do receive two to your def uh, defense because you are aware this is happening. Cool. Rolling my defense. Rolling oh! My hits. Well, what are my biscuits? I got a five. 
Ha! It doesn't hit me. Not only does it not hit you, uh, Dahlia, go ahead and make an attack. <laughs> I That's my girl. To. Ooh. I got an 8 and a 7, so a 15. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. <sighs> ding, ding, dong. Oh, you my little on. army. Gonna... All right. It blocks a good bit of that, but Dahlia, dang. Okay, uh, its turn is wasted. Kwame, it's your turn. Okay, I'm trying to focus, but there are the clown people looking at me, and I don't like it. Uh, um, go, um, hey, I'm sure you have like uh, some Cirque du Soleil thing to do or something. It's sure. Um, what does clown five mean, or whatever it was? Uh, it's clown six. Basically, six. okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> if you roll below a six. Uh -huh. uh, it will enact. And that means it's going to shrink a die down one size for the remainder of the session. No. I know. You don't want that. I don't want that. No. Uh, no, if I roll under six, not if, not with the modifier. Yeah. Well, I'm lost. Okay. With the modifier. Uh huh. If you're under six. If once. Once you roll and add the number together, if it is under six. Gotcha. It, so it's impossible for you. The You just punch your way out. Thank you. I'm good. As long I'm as good it's right a strength now. roll for Kwame. Other rolls could yeah, still. Otherwise, it could be. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I just like, I use that energy from them. Like, okay, can you just not bow? And I just try to um, sink my, my, my fanged hands, my fanged fist. Yeah. Fist of Fangs is what I'm calling Fix it. Fix of Fangs. Fist uh, of Fangs. Marcus uh, Crocs, thank you so much for that gift, by the way. Uh, that made me happy. <laughs> uh, into its flesh. So the, what, what What will that be? Um, you are not using a Nazi here, technically. So I'm going to make I've, it, Yeah, the things I've already created, yeah. Give me a strength roll. All right. I believe in you. I believe in a thing called love. Just in the of a heart. <laughs> That was a five and the D6, so that's an 11. I can tell we all miss karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth was full what of did cinnamon. You roll? Of uh, <laughs> well, Sadly, 11. an 11 does not hit. Mm. Uh, you go a little wide as you see uh, Sphinx Roll, another member of the school at like Trapeze Club. And they're just wearing a lot of glitter. It's very distracting. And you realize we have an audience. Not just clowns, but an audience. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not I'm not used to close-up things. You know, I'm I use my words, not my fist. Um Zoya, if you can get your friends and tell them to go away, that would be great. Thank you. Mm. Uh Zoya begins yelling at them. Sadly, I rolled two ones, so it's in Russian. Okay, yeah, somebody, somebody got to speak Russian over there. I mean, the Dupsy is there, but the Dupsy is from Idaho, so you don't know. <laughs> Thank you all for subscribing. I'm sorry I made you clowns. I'm so sorry, CJ. They just made you American. <laughs> oh, and then also, baby. Yes. Manny, you're up now. All right. Um, now that I've created some kind of a barrier, at the very least, uh, I would now like to try and cut this thing's head off, if possible. Roll the hit. Strength plus power plus two. Yes. Go. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven's not going to hit. Uh, okay, cool. Would you like to use a reroll? We have them. Sure, why not? Might as well. Smoke them while we got them, right? That's what I would say. Eh, I rolled worse. Ah. All right. Um, with an 11, your swing goes a little wide. This is a wily fox creature. Uh, well, it's not a fox. It's a wolf. Uh, Manny, it comes down and it tries to bite you and it goes through you instead. Hmm? Huh? You, do, you are not wounded in any way. Uh, uh, you, yes, uh, your, your power given to you by Loki is you can walk through walls. 
You mean solid objects? Yes. In general? Oh. I love you, Loki. You're the best. <laughs> All right, Lenny, you're up now. All right, Lenny's gonna you he's just gonna gonna reel back and and just go a water punch and just use my my water attack. It never gets old. It's it really doesn't. Best. I need right. a cool animated background for my attacks. You all do. I love them. So range and intelligence for my my magic attack. Minus range. two. Yep. That's these two dice. These two very chonky dice. Ooh, uh, minus two. That's a 12. 12 Ooh. hits. Yeah. Which means I do this many damages. 10, 11, 12 damage. <laughs> all right. That is going... It has a very good defense, but it holds up very well. Um, Kwame, you... Not Kwame. Lenny, you shoot. It hits. Uh, one of the arms goes kind of limp as you've made it crack and crumble. Uh, okay, Dahlia, you're up now. Um... I think Dolly is just going to hold her position and continue to whack at it with the swords. She's feeling really cool with all these clones. All right. Go ahead and roll the hit. Dead. As you are a magician, that is intelligence plus range, range minus two. Seven plus five minus two, so ten. Ten is not going to hit. Uh, one of your clones takes a swing and poofs into a cloud of uh, rose petals. Um, apparently these things are not the sturdiest. No. All right. Uh, the uh, centaur knight is going to go after Lenny. Uh, let's see how this plays out. Uh, that is a t that is a 13 that is going to hit Lenny. You are getting a like paw hoof front to the chest. Go ahead and roll me defense. Six, which I roll again, or does it explode? Um, nope, nope, nope. You, however, it also rolled a six. So tell me how this doesn't hurt you. Uh, I, same same way it always does. It like tries to kick me water, and it's just like whoosh. And it's like, uh, actually, I can't be kicked in the chest. It's weird. It's like this whole thing. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kwame, you're up now. Um, I see that that didn't work. And then I realized, you know, doing mental math in my head, there's no way in heck and I can actually hit this thing in its current state. Um, uh, and I, uh, I whispered to Anansi, if you can do it a little invisibly or something, so the clowns watching us doesn't realize what's happening, that would be great. But uh, can you spin me a story in which this thing, let me phrase this right. Uh, uh, let, spin me a story in which its weak points were revealed. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the easiest way to hit this thing or some spots that might be weaker so we can actually hit it. Because it's super I love tough it. right now. I love mm. it. Go ahead and give me a intelligence uh, defense roll. And key point. Okay. Uh, intelligence, defense, defense, tartar yes. sauce. Tartar sauce. I love that you called it a key point. I you, I 100% just called it a key point. You did. Holy shit. You, holy, <laughs> you totally did. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. Um, we have a reroll, right? We do have rerolls. Can I please use one? Absolutely. Thank you. Much better. Uh, because that was a one and a three. Uh, <laughs> so that's now a nine and a three. So that's 12. All right. Um, that is going to give you a six on your next hit. So whatever you decide to, however you decide to attack next time, you will do it uh -huh. with a plus six. 
Just me or just in general? I'm, just I'm trying to reveal these. Okay. Oh, you're trying to make it visible for everyone. Yeah, I, I want to reveal it so people know where to hit so we can actually start beating this thing down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you see large red uh, spots appear on this creature, almost like someone is pointing a laser pointer at it. Uh, they flash red and yellow because video games. Um, sure. All right. You all know where to hit it. I will go um, ahead and make it so everyone's attacks will get a plus three. Bad. That sounds good to me. All right. Um, uh, cool. And I say, I don't know why Anansi chose a video game style for that, but it's fine. Hit those spots. Um, that's me. I want, I, I want Spiro to play the, the switch. I was, it's on my mind. All right. Uh, Zoya is going to go ahead and she looks at what you've done, Kwame, and gives a nod. Uh, she's going to use her power as well. That is going to be an eight. Uh, suddenly, a spotlight appears uh, on the uh, centaur knight. Uh, it is encased in a white light. Um, you will get all get a plus one on your next attack, plus the plus three from Kwame. Heck yes. Mm -hmm. So we're at a plus four. Sweet. You are a plus four for your next attack. So uh, now we go over to Manny. All right, with the with the strength of those uh, those bo uh, those boons upon them, they are once a ten, once again going to try and uh, make this thing a head shorter. So here we go. Oh man! <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, uh, let's see. I don't roll nearly as well for my ding dang damage though. Man, that's sad. It's only three damage. It rolled a four on its defense. So, so you no do hit damage. it, but the sword just hits stone and just kind of cracks <sighs> it and he glowers at you. Um, all right. Lenny, you're up now. Uh, Lenny, seeing spots that are being pointed out to hit, is going to go into super soaker mode and just uh, start firing, firing tight water beams at it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so I. Six, that's only going to be a ten. Uh, with all the pluses. Yeah, because I'm already minus two, so plus two. Uh, and then I rolled it's plus uh, four. Yeah. What? Well, no. I. It's plus four minus two. Oh yeah. And yeah. then I rolled a an eight. So. Would you like to use a reroll? Sure. Okay. I believe we I have can, two left. I can do a lot better on that. Um, that is that is a twelve. A twelve hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Just barely making it. Oh, lovely damage. Five. See if you can beat. No, seven. Seven. See if you can beat that. It got a nine. Great. <laughs> yes. This thing's just rolling really well on its defense. It's not. It's actually weaker to, than a lot of things you fought. Need to do a little bit of a defense downgrade on that boy. That's exactly what I did. What yes. I was trying to do. We need to do another one. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> you're doing Greek, Kwame. Yes, Dahlia, you're up next. Um. What's the status of this thing right now? Uh, this thing is under a spotlight with a bunch of red dots on it to, uh, showing you where to stab it. Uh, it has uh, a condition. It has the initial condition. Kwame, what condition did you give it initially? It's something six, besides the clown six I gave you all. No, you gave me... Uh, I have a plus six right now to my... To it was my... me. I put up the wall at the very right, beginning. Right, the wall. That's, yeah. Oh, I was like, right. It has a wall four, I believe. Uh, great. Wall three. Wall three, I'd, thank you. I'd love to, like, drop my sword and swish my hands. I'm really going with this Scarlet Witch comparison that Kwame gave me. <laughs> and I want all of my clones to morph into these giant, sharp, uh, like, tentacle plants that all try to stab at the red dots closest to them on the screen. 
Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. Uh, you will be doing it with a plus two, as okay. opposed to the uh, minus two you usually take. Hint. Range, come on, d12. Ooh, 18? 18 hits. Very cool. <laughs> and then damage, int range again. Um, 18 again. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I got the same exact roll both times. Oh, boy. So, Dahlia. Yeah? Paint me a word picture. How do you kill it? I'd like to imagine all of these, these vine constructs, as they spike through it, they go completely through it, rising it up off the ground and, like, just striking through it in a multitude of angles, and it starts to crumble around them. Like a building decaying from like overgrown uh, vines over like a, a couple decades. I love it. Uh, as you uh, stab through this thing, it begins to disintegrate. Um, you have removed another piece from the board. <sighs> what was that one? I wonder if it was also a knight. It was horse like. Yeah. That's true. And there are normally two pieces of each. You know, I do know how to play the game. It, yeah, it kind of looks like the the Tauntaun from my, my buddy Ricky's set. So, yeah, I think that's a knight. Tauntaun. Is that the Star Wars reference? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ricky had a Star Wars set. Right, right, right. You said that earlier. All right. So, both knights are gone? Potentially. We don't actually so. know, but... Were we supposed to give this one a win? No. What were? I mean, Loki, Loki suggested it. You didn't right, do it. Right. Okay. He suggested it, but that's that's honestly a bad idea. I agree. I look over at Zoya and I say, "Ah, oh, thank you. We um, we know there are others now. We just didn't expect them to be as upfront." And 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 visible as you know we have been or kind of have to be. Uh yeah. Usually hide it better, but uh friends in danger. You do what have to do. Yes. Fair enough. That said, uh you probably should take your friends somewhere not here um and you should probably also go and talk to the dean yeah mm, dr dean why uh, because um he is kind of like our um um have you ever watched power rangers he's like our zordon oh don't know what power ranger is but uh never mind did you ever watch uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? He's, he's kind of like our, our our Giles. In any case, he is in the know and would probably like to make sure that he is... What about Warehouse 13? Of, Did you ever of, watch Warehouse <laughs> Aware of who actually has divinity. So if you could report to him and let him know. Manny gonna beat the brakes off of Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> They or interrupt Lost. me again. Lost Girl? Uh, did you watch Lost Girl? I will drop kick you. Uh, sound good. I go talk to Dean about Lost Girl and uh, Warehouse 13. No, no, no. I haven't started one on Thank you Earth, for your help. It. It's a pleasure. Uh, Zoya reaches out and takes your hand, Manny, and gives it a very hearty shake. Welcome to the safety squad. Yes. Uh, they okay, turn back to the crowd. We get more and more popular every day. Yeah, soon we'll have the whole school. No, we won't. I mean, uh, sure, yes. <laughs> okay, we won't have the clowns, but we'll have the whole school outside of the clowns, right, Kwame? I say nothing. <laughs> I think he agrees. I love Kwame. Otherwise, so much. he would be out <laughs> smoking against it. 
what would I do without Kwame? I just want to hug Kwame all the time. It's just, it's like it's this thing best. will never be cool ever. <laughs> <laughs> and as the quad empties out uh, and school security arrives to see what happened, uh, always too late. Um, we are going to call it there for tonight. Always too late. Always. <laughs> My name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen Pope 101 on TikTok, where you can see me be old, gay, and bald. Uh, you can also check out my writing at Lost Entitlements Volume 1, available now at Drive Through RPG. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Ah, oh, man, they can find me over on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I. I N A B O T T L E. Um, let's see. My entire Twitch streaming schedule is currently on my personal Twitch stream channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. I need to add Let's Get Wild Mount to the schedule, but otherwise, everything that I do is already there. Um, yeah, I'm up to a lot. I'm really excited. I do cool stuff with all the people that you see here. I wish I did more cool things with a few of them but I imagine that's on the horizon. Yay. Uh, Omega Jones. Oh, hello. Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. I can't do it in sign language. I'm going to learn just because Aki is inspiring me to do so. Um, I'll figure it out. Um, if I start doing them, you'd be gang signs. We don't need that right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, I'm an active vocalist all around Hot Mess Incarnate trying to make trouble wherever I go. Uh, I am doing minty things uh, tomorrow. You can catch me on Monroe Smith once again as I appear as Sir Godfrey Gwillem, um, the once broken, I want to say broken, sad knight of um, of the Silver Dragon Argenvost in Curse of Strahd. Um, very excited to play that and go back with that group. It was a good, it was a good time last time. Check it out, all that jazz. Um, uh, no, other things throughout the week. I will say tomorrow afternoon before that, I'm going to be streaming on my channel, probably playing Among Us. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to be raising the money for Stop a API Hate. We all know what's going on. It's some bullshit. Uh, trust me, the black community knows exactly what you're going, you're going through right now. So we I want to raise some money. Solidarity. <laughs> we surely do. So I want to raise some money and, uh, and, and focus on them for a little bit. Uh, not for a little bit, but, you know, focus, use my time as I can. Um, Past that, um, as Aki said, let's get Wild Mount on Saturday uh, at 1.30 p.m. Pacific for session two. It was an amazing time. Uh, good, 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 good vibes. And I can't wait to come back next week and figure out what's in that bottle. And if you don't know what that what's means, you got to watch bottle? the VOD. Um, but that's me. Love it. Uh, Eric. Hello, everybody. My name is Eric. You can catch me on all the social medias, mostly Eric on all of them, including Twitch, where I, I play video games sometimes. That's all. And does lots of fun, cool things with his stream deck. Yeah. There you go. And last but certainly not least, Mika. Hi, I'm R.E.P. Mika. I'm a variety streamer. Um, you can catch me Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays on my Twitch channel. Uh, that includes tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm doing a charity stream with Broadcast Her 1000 Dreams. Um, they're a charity that raises money to fund female streamers and give them money to help their streams out. And that's starting at 11 a.m. Pacific tomorrow on my channel. I have a two-hour slot. So if you guys want to stop by, we'll have some cool stuff happening. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. That's me. Awesome. Uh, special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the camera. Uh, tomorrow, here on Saving Throw Show, we are going to have an all-new episode of Broken Pact, our official D&D show, with a very special guest, Gabe Hicks. Gabe James, Gabe James Games on Twitter. I, I can, there you go. We love it. Gabe James Games. <laughs> Gabe James Games in the house. That'll be right here at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow night. So make sure you check that out and hang out here a little bit. We're going to go raid Rock Punch ATL in a second. So that's going to be a lot of fun, too. Uh, nice. Once again, my name has been Stephen Pope. This has been New Pantheon Academia. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.